So I made a post on my blog. I have a blog if you didn't know. Um, I rarely post on there, like I rarely blog on here. Um, but I made a post recently about New Year's resolutions and I don't really do them, but I am trying to read more stuff this year. And me and my friends have started doing the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge 2015. I will leave a link below to the thing, but basically there are 50 different categories for books. So it's a bit like Friends, the one with, um, so it's like the one with 500 papers, papers, pages, one with five, it doesn't even say the one with, I don't know why I'm using Friends as an analogy. Basically it's like a book with 500 pages, a book with set in a school, a book you loved as a child, really cool topics. Um, so we're going to be working our way through that. So my first book I have read for 2015 and as a result ticked off a book by a female author is... I've lost it... The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks. This is actually my second copy of the book. I started it, I bought a copy during the Books in My Bag book crawl last year in the summer I think it was. Um, it was recommended to me by Alice and it had the worst cover I have ever known in my life. It had a font on it, I get really particular about fonts, but there was a font on it you could barely read. Now if you can't read the title of a book it's not a good sign. Um, they've re-released it with a new cover. I actually lent it to one of the kids at school and then she left the school before ever giving it back to me. Which, you know, I wasn't that bothered about because giving kids books is never bad. But I had actually started it before I <laughs> gave it to her. So I'd managed to read about 70 pages and then hadn't read any more. So the other day, it was cold, I had 10 minutes to wait for my bus, so I walked back into the shopping centre, went into Waterstones and bought this. Which is the much nicer cover, which is by E. Lockhart, who wrote We Were Liars. As you can see on the back, so they've made the cover kind of match in with that. I'm one of those people, one of the rare people who didn't particularly like We Were Liars. Um, but this I thought was great. It's about a girl called Frankie, this is from the title, and um, she is in a private boarding school. It's just her being a teenager really, being a teenage girl. She finds out from her dad and his friends about an old secret institution club that's going on called the Basset Hound Club and it's for boys only so she manages to infiltrate the Basset Club it's very girl power, very feminist it's just her realising how crap some stuff can be for girls it's her struggling with wanting to be one of the guys and realising that there's all these secret unspoken of rules that are just there for how boys treat girls and how girls are seen to be different. I'm explaining this really badly but basically it's really good and you should read it. 